Hey everyone and welcome back to the breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install shaders in Minecraft 1.16.3. We're going to be going over every single step of getting shaders in 1.16.3 and even, you know, downloading different shaders packs and installing them in the game and looking at shaders options. It's all going to be covered in this video. First and foremost though, we do have a smart sponsor which is Apex Minecraft Host. You can check out Apex the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get an incredible 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. We actually love Apex so much that we have our own server, played our breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you're looking for a great Minecraft server for you and your friends to love and enjoy, check out Apex at the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get some shaders packs installed. The first step is getting shaders packs is, well, downloading some. Now, if you've already got some shaders packs, awesome. If you don't, you can find our list in the description down below of the top five shaders packs for Minecraft. Now, some of these aren't true 1.16 compatible. However, most of them will work in 1.16 without much of any problems. You may have some different artifacting, some different, you know, you know, weird spots spots like some just for whatever reason turn the sky all white or whatever all different weird stuff like that however usually those can be fixed in shaders options so I'm going to show you how to do some of that later on in this video specifically we're going to be installing Chocopic 13 shaders pack so we're going to go ahead and click on the green download button here that takes us off to an in-depth tutorial for this specific shaders pack where you want to click on this yellow download Chocopic shaders button that will then take us off to the official download page where we want to come over here to the right hand side scroll down and as you can see there's actually a Minecraft 1.16 version of this shaders pack and we click on the purple download Download button there to begin the download. Now, this is very in alpha. It's going to have bugs and have different things like that, but that's okay. Now, when this download starts, it's going to automatically download in the bottom left. You shouldn't need to keep the file on Google Chrome. You may need to save it in the server screen on Mozilla Firefox. But we're not done downloading just yet. In order to run shaders, you need Optifine. You can't run any shaders whatsoever without Optifine. Optifine is basically the only way to run shaders in modern Minecraft. Way back in the day, that wasn't the case, but now it is the case. So nevertheless, to get Optivine, you need to go to the third link down below. And that's going to take you here. This is our in-depth tutorial for how to download and install Optivine. It has helped over 2.3, by the time you're probably at this tutorial, over 2.4 million people download and install Optivine. Kind of crazy stuff. However, we're going to be showing you how to do it in this video as well. If you do have any issues, though, this is a more in-depth tutorial. Does some troubleshooting, all that stuff. But once you're here, you want to click on this green Download Optifine button. That'll take you off to Optifine's official download page, where there's no Minecraft 1.16.3. That's because it's in preview, right? It's currently in beta, so it's not going to show up here. However, if you do see Minecraft 1.16.3 right here, you want to come under this first release and then click on Mirror. Otherwise, if you're downloading this right as it came out, right as this video has come out, right as 1.16.3 is dropped, you want to click on Preview Versions, and then in here you'll see Optifine 1.16.3. You want to come over to the right-hand side and click on the Mirror button to the right of that. So there's Mirror right next to 1.16.3. Then you want to click on the Download Optifine 1.16.3 button here, and and the download will begin automatically in the bottom left. You will need to keep this file on the bottom left on Google Chrome. You'll need to save it in the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser. And when we do that, here on the desktop, we have Chocopic 13 Shaders and Optifine. If these aren't in your desktop, no worries. They're going to be found in your Downloads folder. To find that, click on the little Windows icon. in the top left of my screen. It might be in the bottom left of your screen. But click on that little Windows icon on the top or bottom left of your screen, right like so, and then go ahead and type in Downloads. You have this Downloads file folder in Windows. Click on that, and in here, you'll find Chocopic Shaders and Optifine. You can drag these from your Downloads folder to your desktop just for ease of use. Now we're going to start off with Optifine. Now, what if your Optifine doesn't look like this? What if it doesn't look like this Java file? Well, hold on a second. I'll show you how to fix that. But first, let's see if we can open it. So right-click on Optifine, click on Open With, and then you should have Java here. If you do, click on that and click OK. But if you don't have Java here, or if your logo looks weird and you want to fix that, I will show you how. So to do that, you want to go to the description down below and go here. This is an in-depth guide for downloading and installing Java for Minecraft mods. Optifine and shaders being a Minecraft mod, obviously, you need this version of Java to do that. So come through here, go this simple three-step tutorial, and then you'll be good to go. Now, you might need to run the jar fix. If for whatever reason you still can open up Optifine after you get Java, you will need to run the jar fix to get Optifine open, and so you can install shaders later because you need Optifine to install shaders. Another little quick three-step tutorial. And basically what this is going to do is take all the .jar files on your computer and link them up to Java once again, right like so. Now, finally, we can go ahead and right-click on Optifine, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. It will then go ahead and open up the Optifine installer here, where we want to go ahead and click on Install, and after a few seconds, it won't load anything, it won't do anything like that, it'll just come up and say, Optifine is successfully installed, right like so. We can then go ahead and click OK, and Optifine will close out there. Now, you can delete Optifine from your desktop if you want. You might need to wait. Sometimes you have to open up Minecraft and close it in order for you to be able to delete Optifine, but we were able to delete it, no problem. Now, let's go ahead and get our shaders pack, Chocopic 13 shaders specifically, installed. 
To do that, we want to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. And before you hit that play button, stop. Don't hit that play button. You want to click on the little drop down box, this little arrow to the left of the play button. And then you want to find the Optifine profile. As you can see Optifine, and it says 1.16.3 Optifine under it. If that's the case, go ahead and click on it and click play. But what if it doesn't say 1.16.3 Optifine? Or what if it doesn't say, you know, Optifine at all? There is no Optifine profile in here. Well, in that case, you want to go ahead and click on the Installations tab. Then you want to click on Plus New here. And then you can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it Play breakdowncraft.com. Why am I naming it that? Well, that is our own incredible grief protected and Minecraft survival server. We've also got custom factions, custom skyblock. It's amazing. Medieval survival has 30 custom quests and a player rest economy. And aquatic survival has an amazing size shop based economy. Incredible community over there. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. We'll be checking out the server more a little later to test out our shaders. But nonetheless, once you've got your installation named here, we want to go ahead and click on the version drop down box. And then we have at least 1.16.3 Optifine here. Go ahead and click on that and you're good to go. Now your Optifine version might not be right up here at the top. We're lucky enough, ours is right up at the top. You may need to scroll down to the bottom and find it down here. It might be somewhere in the middle, but nevertheless, you want to find at least 1.16.3 Optifine. There's mine up at the top. I'm going to change the resolution just so you can see once we get in game. We are making a video after all. And then we can click the green create button in the bottom right. Then down here at the bottom, we have play.breakdowncraft.com. It says 1.16.3 Optifine under it. So we can go ahead and hover over that and click the green play button. Then it's going to go ahead and open up Minecraft with Optifine. Now it's the easy part. Installing shaders is easy once you get Optifine. The hardest part of installing shaders is actually getting Optifine set up and running in game. But nevertheless, as you can see, we are loading on up right like so. And then an Optifine or shader or Minecraft with Optifine installed to st install shaders. Does that make sense? Anyway, Optifine is now installed. Let's get shaders. To do that from the Minecraft main menu, you want to go ahead and click on options and then you want to click on video settings. Then you'll have a shaders button here. Go ahead and click on that. And in here, there is internal shaders. That's not going to be anything. It's just basically to make sure shaders can actually be enabled. To get your shaders installed, what we want to do is click on the shaders folder button in the bottom left. When you click on that, it's going to open up nothing else but your shaders packs folder. Then you want to take your shaders pack or packs, whatever Whatever shaders pack you want to install, this is how you're going to install it. You're just going to drag and drop it into your shaders packs folder here. Now, it should, in most cases, automatically appear in Minecraft in the background. Now, it may not be selected like mine was, but it should appear in this list here. To select it, you just want to go ahead and click on it in this list. When you click on it, it's going to reload Minecraft right like so, and then it is selected. Now, as far as options go, there are all kinds of different options just on the right-hand side. If you, you know, have any issues, for example, with lighting, you might want to try your old lighting. If you have any trouble with, like, render quality, and, and stuff like that. You can try that there. This is also good for a changing performance. But these aren't the only shaders options. In the bottom right, there's also a shaders options button where you can go more in depth with things. For example, if you're having issues with water, this is where you're going to be able to fix that. If you're having issues, you know, with wavy stuff, like, you know, the plants and stuff, you can change that there. Lighting, you can change that there. Sky, let's say your sky is messed up. You can change that there. Moon and sun colors, you can change that there. It's all changeable here in this shaders options area. Now, every shader is going to have different options. So that one, Chocolate Pig, is very in-depth with the editing. Yours may not be as in-depth depending on the shaders pack you choose. But those shaders options there are great for fixing any issues you may have once you get in-game. Speaking of, let's go ahead and check it out. So we can go ahead and click Done down here. Click Done again. Click Done again. And then we're going to join the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, play.breakdowncraft.com, to check out this resource pack. So once we're in here, we're going to be able to see it is automatically active. Boom. Now, this is a very gray, kind of dim resource pack, depending on the world you're in and the lighting and things like that. For example, out here in the natural sunlight, it looks a lot nicer than it does back here in the more, you know, dimmer cave area. So that's pretty cool and uh, kind of makes it look different and special depending on what environment you're in. You can also see how bright that sunlight looks coming through there. That's something that we really, really like about Chocopic here. Uh, Chocopic is actually one of my more favorite resource packs. Seuss is also uh, Sonic Ether's Unbelievable Shaders is another shaders pack that we personally really, really like at the breakdown as well. But Overall, this is a really, really cool shaders pack and uh, one that I would recommend checking out if you haven't already. But nevertheless, how about you check out this amazing server, play.breakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. This is our aquatic survival spawn. We've also got medieval survival. We've got factions. We've got everything. As you can see here, it's just, it's absolutely incredible. All listed out. Factions, medieval survival, aquatic survival, skyblock, it's all there. But nevertheless, come play with us on the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, play.breakdowncraft.com. But nevertheless, you now know how to get shaders and Minecraft. If we did help you get shaders, subscribe to the channel for more shaders and Minecraft-related tutorials. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and I am out. Peace.